there are major benefits to bereaved people in having this diagnosis. For example, more knowledgeable mental health clinicians. Right now, we don't have those. Greater access to services, both because we have people understanding how to treat people and also because they'll be paid for. Greater public awareness and recognition is a huge benefit and a way to benchmark research and communicate clearly among ourselves. What makes this different from normal grieving is even though the symptoms appear very understandable, yearning and pining and, and missing the person desperately, that seems pretty normal after the loss of a loved one. But what we find is that those people who are really stuck and have intense levels, even at the very beginning, very intense levels where they don't know who they are without this person anymore, those people oftentimes a, a small minority, uh, about 4%, will not get better. Uh, they'll just spend and eke out the rest of their existence missing this person and wanting to be reunited with them. And, and that's that part is, is not helpful. It's not helpful to ignore the fact that some people get stuck and could use some assistance and support in reintegrating into a life without this important person who died. <laughs> 